Hello, hi friends. This is Jitendra. Today we will going to see how to deploy application to the Cloud Hub. Okay, so basically I will give you a brief idea about the Cloud Hub. The Cloud Hub is an integration platform as a service. Okay, it's enabled you to deploy and manage your application in the cloud, and it can be done via runtime manager. Okay, and like uh, what is the advantage of a Cloud Hub? It is a scalable. scalable it is a multi tenant it is elastic it is secure and it is a highly available and also if you are doing any changes in your application so you don't have to you know like have a required downtime like if you want to increase the worker size if you want to increase the you know like number of workers so you don't require the downtime also you can simply you know change and update your application so this is the basically the architecture of your cloud hub so we have a runtime manager console so runtime manager console is basically used to manage your mule application to deploy your mule application worker cloud it's a instance okay it's a instance that run your application on the cloud and platform service a platform service is nothing it is used to you know like provide the insights logs alert it also you know like uh, worker management schedule management and also like clustering of the servers various you know various features provided by the platform services okay so now I will going to show you like uh, what are the different worker size available. Uh, these are the various worker size: 0, 1 V core, 500 MB. The maximum is 4 V core, 7.5 GB memory. Okay. And now I will show you how we can deploy your Mule application to the cloud. So I will go to any point studio. I have already one app small application. And simply I can do right click on the your application. I can go to any point platform. And I can say deploy to cloud. So for deploying the application to cloud, you require the any point account. So let I will show you. Just wait. Okay. So it will be asking you for the authentication uh, user login page. So you have to provide your any point account username and password. Okay. I will provide my credential here. I will say sign in. Okay, it will take you to new some new window. It will open a new window for you. So let it getting initialized. Okay, uh, it was saying this is my application. Uh, you can select the runtime version. You can select the worker size. Uh, I will select only 0.1 V core. Okay, and we have our various sizes as I explained. And here I am also getting only work workers. It's depending on the your account. Okay, currently like uh, it's depending on your account. You will get a number worker. You will get a more and more worker. Okay, uh, so you simply click on deploy application. So worker is depending on your subscription basically. Currently my subscription is a free subscription. That's why you can see only one worker. So it will take some time for deploying your application. Okay. It was deploying. Okay, the application has been successfully deployed to Cloud Hub and I will close the window. Now you can log into any point platform. Okay, I already logged into the any point platform and you go to runtime manager. Okay, and see this is my application. I have deployed just now uh, item potent app. Okay, I will click, I, I will select this and I will say manage application. Okay, so here again you can see like if you want to change your worker size, you can do it here. 
if you want to change the number of worker side if you want to change the mule run time you can do it from here okay and apart from that if you want to see any log related to application you can see it here okay so currently like you can see, see like your application has been deployed and it has been started successfully one more thing i want to show you like uh, i will go to settings like here we have some like if you want to start restart delete your application you can do it and apart from that like uh, if you want to redeploy application you know like from any point studio you can you know like generate the zip file and you can browse the zip file from here and you can okay and just once you browse and just it will start deploying your redeploying your application uh, one more thing i want to show you uh, let me select the application okay this is your url so this is your dns url so whenever you want to post the message you can use this url or you can okay this is the url okay uh, this is how you know you can deploy your application into the cloud hub it is a very simple step to deploy the application to the cloud hub even you know like there is a cloud hub connector available so basically uh, cloud hub connector or uh, can you know like used to deploy the application to start to start stop the application to list the logs and all those things so yeah yeah thanks uh, thanks for watching the video hope you like this video